Hello, guys. I'm just, I'm warning you now, I'm a little congested. You might hear me coughing a little bit. I'll try not to cough into the microphone. I promise. I'm just gonna jump straight in the game because, like, I gonna I have the energy to horse hunt, so I'm gonna use it to my advantage while I have it. <clears throat> yeah just i don't know if we're gonna have any mods in chat so if we don't just bear with us today please all right we in game now hi moon So I'm going to do what I normally do, which is we're just going to check every island and I'm going to check everything once and I'm going to catch on specific islands. I got to check mainland just for event horses. I never really get anything on mainland event horse wise, but I'm still going to check just in case you never know. Also, I am considering trading a couple of my IUHs. I'm not for sure on that yet, but I'm considering it because I've lost attachment to a couple of them. The thing is, though, is I, I need to make sure I don't trade any away that were gifts. I, I do not want to trade any away that were gifts or ones that are important in some way. So some of them I definitely won't even, I'm not even going to consider trading them. But there's a couple that I've lost attachment to that I believe I traded for all of them. I just need to confirm the last one and I don't remember. I don't remember. Does anybody remember? Hold on, let me... I'll, I'll, I'll ask you guys. I doubt anybody knows, but I'll ask. Did I trade for this guy? Because I don't remember. Did I trade for Nathan? I don't remember at all. It was you? I Did I trade... For him from you? Okay, no mainland horses. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he was traded for. I thought so, I just didn't know for sure. He was the only one I was, like, confused on. Because all the other ones I know where I got them from. But... He was the one I was confused on. Moonstone and TBs. Uh, sounds about right. <laughs> sounds about right. Okay, Blizzard's one of the islands I need to catch on. Do I have my inventory already? I don't. Okay. It's fine. We'll just do a drop-off when we get to a... Uh... An area with an easy to access Larry. The wild mod, yes. Wild caramel. I still need to sit down with all the admins and go through all the mod applications. I already had them start going through them. I just haven't looked through them myself yet. <sighs> Today is a pretty chill day, which is nice. I like last night. Well, this morning, actually, because I, I can't lie. I went to bed at like 10 a.m. And I just said, if I wake up on time to stream, I'll stream. If not, chat doesn't get a stream today. 
and uh, I woke up at exactly five. So the universe wanted to stream today, so I'm streaming today. You want a singular fry? I am good. I just had a whole meal before stream. Like I've been um I've been trying to eat before I stream, so there's less of me eating on stream. That's that's a very common pattern, sadly. Is a lot of the times I pause in the middle of stream because I gotta eat. So if I just eat before stream, I don't have to worry about it, right? But it's also been making my streams later, which kinda sucks. Like, I'm just going to stream as long as I can today. Because I really want to catch at least an event Marwari. And I don't think I'm going to get one today, but you never know. I'll try to stream as long as I can and try to catch stuff as long as I can. And maybe since I have chat that I can ramble about random stuff too, that maybe I can, you know, I can keep my focus and not get bored. All right, we'll drop off these horses at Forest. Their next stop. I'm pretty tired today, I can't lie. I got videos to record, though, so, like, if I don't stream that long, I gotta record a bunch of videos. No, you're not really that late. It's been, like, ten minutes. We haven't really done anything interesting. All right. I'm gonna sell these horsies. I'll probably just do drop-offs at Forest because Forest has one of the easiest Larrys to access, in my opinion. I still haven't really caught much else good. I caught, like, one Icelandic and one Abbey yesterday. Well, this- I say yesterday, it's technically today. It was just- I stayed up all night. So it felt like it was yesterday. Oh yeah, pin message. I I forgot about it too. I can't lie. Like if we spend like multiple hours in here and we don't get any like decent luck at all, I might just renew my public VIP and jump in there. Because, like, you know, maybe just maybe I'll get better luck in there. I have all my auction horses and stuff on my alt account right now because I need to set it up, like, ahead of time. I gotta make preparations to do an auction, and I just haven't done it yet. Mostly because my motivation has been kind of non-existent for a little while, but my motivation's a little bit coming back. Which is good. It's a little bit coming back. But like, can you blame me for not wanting to clear out my Wild Horse Islands inventory? Like, can you blame me? Because I don't want to go through all of this. Bro, I hate roller coasters. I'm terrified of them. Hey, a Clydesdale. Like, I just want one purple horse. Game, please. I would really appreciate if I could have just just one purple horse. Just one. That's all I'm asking for. Like, I don't know. I got so much stuff I want to do. It's just a matter of actually doing it. And my motivation and energy levels have just not been... <sighs> they've not been very high lately.
Bro, if I got a neon purple IUH instead of an event Marwari, I'm gonna be devastated. <laughs> Cause the game would just be doing it to mess with me at that point. <laughs> like... Yeah, no, if they can't- can, if they can't be for sure that you're gonna be safe on a roller coaster, don't go on it. That's... Not good. Like, roller coasters could be dangerous. Gotta- gotta stay safe there. Yeah, I'm just checking for IUHs, because I know my luck, I'd walk right past one. All I'm going to say is if I walk past an IUH, I give stream chat full permission to scream at me. Because, like, I feel like I would be the kind of person to do that. Like, I would look right at it and then just walk away. Like, man, I've been trying to catch another IUH for, like, ages. I've been trying to catch a second IU. Well, it's not even really second. I still really don't even count the first one. It was just pure dumb luck. I just happened to be in the right server. But, like... I don't know. I have been looking for so long, and it's very discouraging. Where is this horse? Isn't there supposed to be a horse over here? Oh, there you are. Hey, funny man. How are you? I haven't seen a Marwari in the shop for tokens either. I've only seen the Robux ones. <sighs> and, like, I need to try and get a wild-caught one for my full collection. But, like, I'll probably give it, like, another day or so. And if I don't get a wild-caught one, I'm just gonna purchase one and turn it into a forever full because like it's you know i can't i can't get them all that sounds about right that sounds about right <laughs> Some of the spawn chances are really funky. But like, I don't know, I've been losing attachment to my existing IUHs. Except for a few of them. Like... I love salad. Salad- salad's great. And there's still multiple that I absolutely adore. Like they're all I all adore I adore all of them. But some of them I would be willing to trade away. Like that I have traded for, at least. Um I do not accept friend requests, sadly. It's just because I don't like there's a limit and it's not really fair to other people. I think I should have enough lassos to make it through this island and then lunar, and then I need to restock next time I get the forest. But like, I don't know. I'm- I, it's very discouraging. I guess, like, when you're trying to catch an IUH or, like, a rare horse and everybody else is catching them, except for you. Like, it's it's incredibly discouraging. And I think that's why I struggle with horse hunting a lot, too. Because, like, my luck is not good. Is this the blood bay that I need? I think this might be the blood bay I need. Yeah, let's go. At least we got another part of my capture log done. Like, I really need to get back into the trading scene again, honestly. It's just, the trading hub scares me. 
I really don't know if I want to go to the trading hub, you know? The trading hub scares me. Like, I do know there's a couple, like, decently high value things that I want to trade. It's just a matter of finding, like, a good offer for it, you know? Because, like, it's going to take a long time to fully clear out my inventory. But I guess a good way to start would be trying to trade away the things that I know I want to trade away. away. Just a matter of getting a good offer for it. And there's a possibility, because I'm not getting much luck in, like, the Discord servers, is I might post about trading stuff on the community tab, if that's something you guys would be interested in. Like, would you guys be interested in me, like, posting that I'm looking for offers on, like, certain horses or stuff? Like, the rarer horses on my community tab? How many OG stat horses do you have? Ooh, probably too many to count. I have quite a few OG stat horses. I know I have like a ton of OG stat Frisians from breeding. Yeah. I know I have like possibly three, four IUHs that I might look at offers for. I don't know if I'm going to fully trade them. But I'm going to at least look at offers for him to see if I can maybe good get a pretty good offer. Um, but like, I don't know. I'm losing attachment to Raspberry again. I'm going to be trying to trade Raspberry. I'm just going to see if I find any good offers. And if, there's, if I get a really good offer that I like, I'll probably take it. Or if I get like an IUH TB, I might trade it. I might trade. I, I'd probably trade Raspberry for an IUH TB. I can't lie. Here, hold on, I'll show you guys Raspberry. Let me catch this guy, quick. This is Raspberry. I'll get her out. Like, I don't know. TBs are my favorite breeds. I would love to get an IUH TB. Like, I, I would love to be able to try to get one before my birthday, but at the same time, like, I don't think I would get lucky enough to get one before my birthday, because my birthday's semi-close. I did not catch her. I traded for her. I have no idea what the elf region is worth. I know there's quite a few people who don't like them, so I'm guessing their demand isn't pretty high. Um, but value-wise, I am unsure. Alright, let's see. I'm just checking spawns here. Yeah, I do wish that they would have, like, with Stable Island, is they would have given us, like, a second barn or a second pasture instead of, um, like, just making our current ones bigger. Because I feel like it would be way more interesting to have, like, multiple stables and multiple pastures that you could upgrade. Yeah, like, with values, is something might have really high value, but it's just a matter of be actually being able to trade it away for that value. Because I know, like, um, I'm pretty sure Clover Clydes have taken a giant jump in value, or they might be about to, but the, dema the demand for Clover Clydes right now is, like, terrible. I think I have a horse named Laffy Taffy. I do. 
It's a yellow ghost fjord. I do not know IUH values, but I know IUH high tiers um, tend to, like, can usually go for V1 vals a lot of the time. See, I'm just going to tell you now, obtained horses a lot of the time have almost no value unless it's training island. Or like volcano. Like the event ones that you get from completing milestones, majority of the time are not worth like anything. Did that TB just do a front flip? Did you guys just see that or am I going crazy? Sir? Oh, uh, ma'am? Did you just do a front flip? I hate every time I say something about a horse, like sir or ma'am, or like things like that. It's always the other gender. It, every single time. It's always the other one. It's so dumb. I never guess right. It's like a 50-50 chance for me to get it right. And I get it wrong every time. Okay, looks like there's nothing good on mountain. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know if it's worth in investing in a bunch of IUHs. I feel like it probably would be based on how high of demand they have all the time. But at the same time, it's like, I don't really want to trade away all my good stuff for IUHs, you know? But, like, I don't know. I might... I've been holding on to, uh, to this guy for a while. He's impure bot. I've been holding on to this guy for a while to see if I get a good offer for him, and I just haven't, so. I just realized I'm still on Raspberry. I need to be on Kaboom. He's my he's my funny guy. Hold on, where is Kaboom? There he is. I traded a pure bot V1 Val for Raspberry and a Clover Clyde. Because I like Clydesdales and I really liked Raspberry. So I'm like desperately trying to get a good offer for Raspberry. <laughs> so I don't take a giant loss. Like, the person I got it from was super sweet. They collected V1 vowels. So like, I don't regret it. I know my V1 vowel went to a good home. But at the same time, it's like, man, I'm probably, I'm gonna have a hard time trading these guys, aren't I? Because the Clover Clyde has bad demand right now, I'm pretty sure. And Raspberry, like the IUH techies are just so hard to trade and get like good offers for. And mine's a rare coat too, so like, <sighs> it's, it's not the easiest. I've been trying to look at offers for Raspberry for like ages and I haven't found like any good offers um i'm not great at values but if it's something i could maybe try to help i i semi no values that's a white TV. Yes, it is. I see white TVs like everywhere, man. Moonstone is. I don't know that off the top of my head, but I can go look. But 
Which obviously this is like don't fully take my word for it. But like, you know. Oh, let me see if I can find it. Frisian is worth 500 to 700 moonstone. Higher end is for naturally pure. Favorite forever full, my Clover Clyde Win. He's my boy. He was my first ever forever full, so he's got a special spot in my heart. Man, you know what I didn't do yesterday that I was supposed to do? I was supposed to check if I had any hair dyes I could trade to NYX. And I just never did. We forgot. We got distracted by Precious of Scenario. Oops. I'll have to check that today and send them a list that I have. But like, I don't know. Um, Here soon, I'm probably going to be doing a lot of trading. So, I have a lot of stuff, like a lot of stuff in my inventory that I need to trade away. So, there might be a possibility that we might have some, some trading streams in the near future. I think a V1 is worth an IUH of the same breed. Like a V1 IUH? Or, like, just a V1 in general. Just, like, a plain V1. A plain V1... By itself, probably wouldn't be worth an IUH at all, unless you get, like, insanely lucky. Because a lot of the V1s don't have that high value. I think, like, the highest value V1 is the Frisians, and majority of them, unless they're mismatch, only go up to, like, 200 Moonstone. 200, 250 Moonstone. But majority of, like, just the plain coats that are caught are, like, 100 Moonstone. So, like, I'm also considering looking to try to buy some IUHs, but it's just finding ones that are not, like, insanely overpriced is kind of difficult. That got 2 million. I could probably find, like, maybe an affordable IUH. Like, nope. And let me check this last spawn up here real quick. V1 Clyde IUHs are worth a lot. V1 IUHs just in general are worth a lot. Like, I've, I've, from what I've heard, they can go for, like, insane overpays and stuff like that. Like, the IUH collectors, are, like, they will fork out a lot sometimes for V1s. A stinky rose gray Marwari. Um, you could name it. Um, pepper spray. <sighs> IUH value, I don't know. It kind of depends. The higher tier ones seem to be just progressively, ever so slowly, getting more demand because they're high tier. The V1s and event IUHs are always going to have insane demand. A lot of the lower tiers... They still have demand and value and all that, but it is seems like it does seem like it is going down a little bit. That is just mostly because there's so many IUHs, and especially because we've had so many events lately, we've had so many people catching new IUHs. Because I think they have the uh, the IUH spawn rate turned up during events a little bit. Either that, or it's just like a weird coincidence that happens for some reason. Would an event Marwari be worth an IUH? Probably not. 
But you never know. Because I know when events are still going, some people will, like, pay a lot for event horses. Especially if they're wild caught and stuff like that. Oh, dang. You might be underpricing yourself a little bit on that fjord, to be honest. I know the fjords have high demand. Oh, I wasn't- I looked away for a second and fell into a crater. Oh, I'm supposed to be catching- oops, I'm supposed to be catching horses here. I forgot. Fjord IUHs are high demand because a lot of people like fjords. I know fjords are one of the breeds that a lot of people really like. I mean, depending what IUHs you have, for what prices, I might be interested. Because, like, I'm not gonna spend a ton of money on an IUH like I don't even like, or that I probably couldn't trade if I turned out that I didn't like it. Because, like, usually, if I buy an IUH that I like, or I get an IUH that I really like, that I trade for, I usually want it to be one that I like, so then, if- but if I do lose attachment, then I can trade it away. Like, things like that, you know? Bro, you know what I need to get someday? I need to get an icy pink IUH. Like, it's... It's me. I need an icy pink IUH, you know? Like... That'd be awesome. It'd be perfect. Or pink cow print. Yeah, or pink cow print. But honestly, I think I'd probably like icy pink more. Because I feel like pink cow print, it doesn't go with as much. Bro, you have a TB for sale? Wild Horse Island's community used to be, like, super sweet and stuff, but it seems like more and more people have grown more toxic over time. Not everybody, but it seems like there's been an increase, especially as of lately, in both toxic players and scammers. Which is not great. Wild Horse Island's is slowly becoming similar to Adopt Me, which I'm not sure how much I like. Because I used to be big in the Adopt Me trading scene, and... It was a nightmare, to say the least. But like, my adopt me goals are set forever. Because thanks to Cam, I got my, I got Tsunami back. My dream pet. I got Tsunami back. So I'm set. I have everything else I need to make my other dream pet, so I'll eventually make that, and then all of my adopt me goals are complete forever. So. Hello. I'm a little quiet. My throat does hurt because I did scream a bunch this morning because we were playing a horror game. 
I say we as in me and Nyx. Nyx bought me a horror game after I told them not to. So then we played the horror game together and I got scared. Really scared. Because Nyx watched. Nyx got it on camera. Nyx looked and there was a monster running at me at like full speed. And instead of telling me, Nyx watched it run at me. And as it was about to attack me, went kai and then i got like mauled <laughs> so that was a fun experience it's like mine was less of a phase and more of like i'm a like og adopt me player and i have been playing adopt me since before pets were even a thing so, like, it wasn't really a phase. It was actually a game that I genuinely enjoyed. Budget? I don't know. I'm probably right now wouldn't pay over a million for an IUH at the moment. I feel like a million would be, like, my max at the moment. Because I do need to save, like, a million for a video that I promised I would make. But, like, that also depends on the IUH. Like, I'm not gonna pay a million for, like, a low-tier breed, low-tier hair. Like, that's just it, not worth it. <laughs> yeah, Adopt Me actually was a pretty chill game before they added pets. And it just kind of, like... It kind of got super toxic over time. And it's kind of sad, because I remember, like, a long, long time ago... When, um, like, when pets weren't a thing. And people actually genuinely played to just family roleplay. And you know what? It was a lot better back then. Because the whole game wasn't full of toxic people and scammers. You know, it's like, as, like, IUH value has kind of, like, dropped a little and settled into, like, a, like a set little area... Like, still not completely, but kind of around, you know, around the, uh, around a certain kind of area for values. We have a better general estimate of, like, a value of an IUH than we used to. But, like, they still have no set values, but we still have, like, a general, like, little range. And, um... With that, it's like, every, and now that we've kind of gotten a little bit more of a set value for the IUHs, people have been overpricing them more. Ooh, I almost dipped Kaboom's toes in the lava. That would have been not good. I am going to have to stock back up on lassos. Okay, I'm just gonna... I don't know. I have the time, and I've spent a lot of time IUH hunting, and I still haven't caught one. So I feel like it also is a matter of luck, and I just don't have the luck for it. My name is pronounced Kai. Ken is in my inventory right now. I'm just using Kaboom because he's my event hunting horse. I do need to stop by Mountain too this round to grab that herd. Hello, Goober. I like your picture. <laughs> it's very goofy. <laughs> How do you remind your parents that you've changed your pronouns after you refuse to use them? Um, like, here's the thing. A lot of times, parents, it's harder for them to remember pronouns. So I would say just 
like kindly remind them like hey you messed up my pronouns or like hey can you try to use these pronouns for me i know my mom has a really hard time with mine but she's been trying and me and my sister have been like correcting her but my mom it's harder to like be super kind about it so a lot of the time i'll just be like he him and then she'll correct herself and then we'll continue our conversation like it didn't happen and she's gotten a little bit better about it i'll give her that she's gotten better have you ever played wildcraft i'm gonna be completely honest People were talking about it on my community tab while I was at my cousin's house. And I downloaded it and played it on my phone while I was at my cousin's house. So yes, I have played Wildcraft just on my phone. Like, this is my kind of view on that. If you're aware that your parents don't accept it and they're gonna be like aggressive towards you or mean towards you if you tell them about it don't tell them until you have somewhere safe that you can go if things go wrong do not tell them if they are openly like against it in like a really bad way i just wouldn't tell them at least for the time being because you're just going to put yourself at the path of danger if something bad does happen Cupid, that just sounds hypocritical. <laughs> that just that just sounds hypocritical, to be honest. But like, I don't know. Like the thing is, pronouns. Okay, like pronouns a lot of time aren't really that important. However, a lot of pronouns are important to people who only have pronouns as an option to express themselves. So it's still good to respect people's pronouns whether you agree with it or not due to the fact of some people that's the only way they can feel comfortable with themselves because they might not be able to get medical work done they might not be able to get their voice changed and things like that and pronouns might be the only way that they can express themselves and feel comfortable in their body which you should respect them i know some people don't care if you misgender them and things like that but just because one person doesn't care doesn't mean everybody doesn't care. So it's like, I know a lot of the time when I meet new people, or like I just recently became friends with somebody, I always check with them. What is your preferred name? What are your pronouns? I don't want to mess them up. Like, I know that's why I'm, like, in my chat, a lot of the time I have the mods, like, delete things if people misgender me. Because, like, you know, pronouns right now are the only thing I have to express myself. In the future, I'll probably have other ways to express myself. But at the same time, it's like, I don't have a masculine voice. You know, I, all that stuff, I'm not gonna get into that. But, like... Pronouns are the only thing I have to express myself right now, so that's why I'm kind of a little more strict on misgendering and things like that. Like, if I- if I was, you know, fully biologically the thing that I felt most comfortable with, I wouldn't care. But I do care. Well, I'm- I'm very glad that my my channel has helped you in some way, Ivy. I I honestly, it makes me very happy to hear that some people have genuinely felt better because of my channel. Because that's something that I truly want to strive for. Time to mass buy silver ore. I'm gonna make like 200 probably. Okay. Oh, 
A wild Tim? Hi, Tim! Oh, there's a notification. Thank you for bringing everybody over. I appreciate it. Bro, I here's the thing. People can't make up if my mind if my voice is masculine or feminine. People cannot make up their mind. I've had so many people be like, oh, your voice sounds masculine. But then like everybody else is like, oh, your voice sounds feminine. Make up your mind. <laughs> Which one is it? It was Tem. Tem is one of my friends and they also stream Wild Horse Islands. Like, here's the thing. That's stupid, right? It's my microphone. My microphone makes me sound way, way more feminine than I actually sound in real life. It's so dumb. It makes me so mad because it's like, come on. Like, sometimes I will say, sometimes I do purposefully do a high pitched voice and things like that. Th that stuff's on purpose. But my normal voice is not very feminine, actually. It's just my microphone makes it sound really feminine for some reason, and I genuinely don't know why. Like, oh my god, yesterday's stream, you guys got to hear, like, the true morning voice, Kai. I don't know if- I don't know who all was at yesterday's stream, but on stream yesterday, when I first started stream, that was, like, right after I woke up. And I sounded very different. Nyx was like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I showed Nyx. You sound like the rock. <laughs> okay, that's kind of great though, honestly. Bro, my voice sounded so strained the other day when I started stream. Like, I don't know, I lay- I woke up and I laid in bed for like an hour or two and got up and my voice was still like raspy. I think it's because I kind of just sat there and I hadn't drank any water yet until I got up and stuff like that. When I wake up, I just have a deeper voice that's like kind of raspy and I sound like I'm struggling to talk a lot of the time. But like, I don't know. I have a really bad habit of falling asleep with my mouth open. So I wake up and my mouth is super dry. It's such a terrible feeling. I hate when that happens. It's the worst. Ooh, nice horse queen. Okay, honestly, kind of valid, Ivy. I feel that. Just tuck tape your mouth shut. I feel like that wouldn't solve all my problems. Bro, it's like, okay, it's like freezing in my room all the time. And then my sister's room might as well be an oven. Ooh, that sounds fun, Lavender. Man, I haven't had a sleepover in forever. The last sleepover I went to was such a long time ago. Yo, maybe you should figure out whose house it's at. So that'd probably be a good idea. I know, like... I miss one of my old friends. Like, one of my childhood-ish friends. I was friends with them for a very long time. We met in 5th grade, and we were friends, like, until 7th, I think. 
and we kept the contact a little bit after that and then we just like stopped talking i recently was able to get a hold of them again like i was able to get their number and talk to them a little bit but at the same time it seems like they're not very interested in rekindling the friendship which is like it sucks but i get it we've changed a lot and you know times have changed and all that but you know i miss it in a way because me and them were like inseparable we were like the inseparable friends we did everything together i literally went on family road trips with her and her family i would stay over at their houses for like two three days at a time i knew everybody in her family i was close with her mom her dad her siblings her it was like my best friend and then i left public school and almost never talked to her again and it's really sad but you know what <sighs> stuff happens <laughs> cat in a sweater that sounds amazing my sister puts her cat in like sweaters and stuff like that all the time <laughs> hold on wait 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 hold on hold on hold on i got a good photo for you guys here this is my sister's cat Why are your ears white but your hair is pink? Hair dye. <laughs> Her name is Kalua. She is a baby. She's very vocal. She she will cry at my sister's door if she hears my sister talking somewhere else in the house. <laughs> it's great. She's such a sweetheart. Feel free to ask questions. If I don't see it, i just ask it again after a little bit. See you around only. Like... I don't know. I don't remember what I was going to talk about. I was going to say something. I don't remember what it was, though. Hold on. I got to check DMs. Okay, I was wondering why I got a mod squad ping. It was Caden. Okay. We good. I saw I had a mod squad ping and I was like, oh no, did something happen? So, Cupid, that's kind of a weird question for starters. Kind of a weird question. But I do like feminine stuff still. Even though I am a guy. I do still like some feminine stuff. Like, I am not opposed to wearing a skirt because I look good in a skirt and you cannot tell me otherwise. I look good, that's all that matters, right? That's all that matters. What are one of your horses you should, you should draw Kaboom. Kaboom has never gotten fan art before. I use him so much and nobody has ever given me Kaboom fan art. Here's the boy. No, there's no specific age you need for the mod application, though to be in like our main Discord server, you have to be 13 plus because that is Discord's rules, not ours. You can still be a mod and not be in our Discord server. I just need to have the option to reach out to you through direct messages on Discord at the very least. Yeah, 
no like real i i hate how people gender clothing it's so dumb it's a piece of fabric it doesn't matter just let people wear what they want as long as it's like age appropriate and a and appropriate for where they're going let them wear whatever they want Yeah, then people gender colors. I, you know, I've actually made a couple people really mad because I like pink and I'm a guy. Like my, I like I'm not even kidding. My whole room is pink. My walls are pink. My desk is pink. My chair is pink. Keyboard mouse is pink. Uh, my mouse pad is pink. My microphone's pink. Like i love pink that's my favorite color and i've made a couple people really mad because of that is your avatar from something or custom my in-game avatar if you're talking about my in-game avatar like in roblox i'm dressed as kave from genshin impact oh i need to catch you hold on I keep forgetting that I need to catch these horses. I think I left one down there too. It's fine. Whatever. Yeah, I love Genshin. I haven't played for a little bit because I was playing a ton and I burnt myself out a little. But I still play. You're all good, Caden. Like, here's the thing. The term, like, that term, femme boy, is literally just a guy who wears feminine clothing. So, yeah, it's literally just a clothing style. That's pretty much what it is. It's just, essentially, just a guy wearing feminine clothing. Same as it would be, like, if a girl was wearing masculine clothing. It's, like, tomboy is just a girl wearing masculine clothing, pretty much. So, it's, like, they're just opposites of each other. Oh, I got- I got a new valet already. I actually did a stream of that. I got really unlucky. I lost my 50-50, then I got him, and then I tried to pull for Kazuha, and didn't get him. But I lost my <laughs> I lost my 50-50 to Kazuha, too! And I didn't get him. I ran out of money. Like, I usually try to pull for the characters that I really want. And I'm just gonna save and go for the next character that's coming out. Yeah, Caden won their 50-50. Before my stream, while I was in voice call with them. They grinched my luck away, and I'm so mad about it. You stole my luck. I still blame you. I blame you, Caden. Bro, honestly, like, look, if it's a clothing style, just let people wear it. It doesn't matter if they're a girl or a guy or neither or both or all of them. Whatever they are. Whatever you identify as. Wear whatever you want. Doesn't matter. Like, some days, I want to dress up and... Cottagecore stuff. I'm gonna do it. I don't care what other people think. Heck, like, if I can go to Walmart dressed in full Attack on Titan cosplay, I can go out in public dressed in a Cottagecore outfit. People literally do not care. Where I live, people do not care. <laughs> I have gone out cosplaying in public multiple times. People do not care. What? Are we gendering emo now? Really? <laughs> That's just stupid. I do have a pet. Yes, I have multiple. I have four rabbits, two dogs, and then my sister has a cat. I would say probably just, yeah, submit a form and maybe message one of the admins and ask if they can delete your old one. If that, whoa, that's a lot of fish. 
Like, I don't know. I've never been a fish person. But one of the old mods on the mod team is, like, a fish fanatic. They, like, they could literally talk about fish for hours. This is insane. I jokingly told them to write an essay one time, and they delivered, like, an eight-paragraph essay about fish. I have never learned more about fish in my entire life except for that day. <sighs> yeah, sadly, Cupid, that's how it is in some places. I don't get why people can't just let people live their lives. Like, okay, right? I can understand if people were mad if you're going out and, like... What is happening? Oh, I was like, why is my character cape like freaking out because i'm doing the lasso thing i can understand if you're like out in public wearing something super inappropriate and someone gets mad at you for that like hey like don't wear that there's kids around or something like that i couldn't understand that but getting mad at people for wearing like baggy jeans and like a hoodie and maybe like a baseball cap or something why it's clothing. I don't get it. It's dumb. It's stupid. Ah, uh, the admins. If you're in the Discord server, there should be a list of the admins if they're online. Bro, not the kids. Kids don't know what gender roles are. Like, honestly, I don't care what people think about me in public where I live. It's like, I don't go out in public enough to care. I literally, one year I showed up... Oh, hold on, guys. It's medicine time. One year for Thanksgiving, I showed up dressed as Armin Arlert from Attack on Titan. So, like, I literally do not care. Okay. Hold on, guys. It's medicine time. You have model cu- I, I don't have customs, but I do have some little model horse things that are really cute. They're the- sh they're Schleich ones. I started collecting them a little bit, but I haven't got any new ones for a while. Doesn't show member list anymore? Oh, that's annoying. Okay, back to horsey catching. Oh my gosh, if you made a silhouette custom, you better send me photos, because that would be so cute. Yeah, Tango, Tango has been a mod for me, I'm pretty sure, longer than Tim. You can send me photos either by tagging me and like a uh, post on like Instagram, YouTube, whatever social media you have. I also have an email you can send stuff to, Discord server you can send stuff in. There's plenty of options for photo sending. You have a box full of horse. Oh, that's cute. Um, I didn't spend that much, honestly. I think I spent, like, like... I don't remember how much I had. I think I had... I think I spent a good, like, 30k tokens or something. I'm not sure. But it wasn't anything too absurd. I didn't buy that many. 
Nyx might be- I think Nyx is sleeping, possibly. I have a ton of My Little Pony toys. And, like, just horses and stuff in general. In a box downstairs. From when I was younger. Because I had so much horse-related stuff when I was younger. Like, if you guys are interested, I might- I could maybe put together, like, a little video showing off all the, like, shalike horses that I have. I don't have too many, but I have a decent couple that are cute. You ever do a room tour? Uh, when my room isn't a gigantic mess? Maybe. Maybe. Because I have a bad habit of my room not being clean, so... But maybe someday. I wouldn't be opposed to it. I would just like to clean up my room and stuff before anything. Oh no, Cupid! <laughs> that poor plushie! Nyx is sleepy. Yeah, come on. We gotta get you- you gotta get new for that. You have to. I'm wishing you luck, man. I got bad luck, so maybe you can take the rest of my luck and get you something good. No! <laughs> no! One Primo Gym off, though. That sucks. <laughs> Melfi a devil, the powerhouse of the cell. They didn't teach this in school. Worst comes to worst, I can just yell at one of the admins later and be like, Hey, can you go delete this mod application for me? You seen the Genshin event? Is there another one out now? Did you graduate yet? No. Um, I believe I just... Did I? I think I just submitted my last paper. Either I just did or I had it in the drafts. I don't know. But, um... As things are going, I should graduate before the end of this month. Because I still gotta wait for them to grade it, and then probably send it back, and then fix errors, and then grade it again, and all that stuff. Which, like, I will probably do something fun for, like, a graduation stream. Because, like, you know, I celebrate a lot of my big milestones on my channel. Like, for my 18th birthday, I didn't have a party or anything. I streamed instead. <laughs> so. No, I have literally not caught anything good. I think I caught a single Appaloosa. I caught a pure Appaloosa. That's it. That is all I've caught this whole time. Besides maybe this, if you count this as being cool. Feel free to draw kaboom and stuff however you want. Graduating graduating high school. I'm probably not going to go to college. Because there's like... Nothing... In college that I want to pursue that is worth me actually going to college. At least in my opinion. Like, anything I could take in college... Nothing is really- none of it's really anything I actually want to pursue, so I'm not gonna waste years of my life getting a diploma and things like that for, like, something that I'm never gonna get into. Like, I know everybody else in my family is probably gonna go to college, but I really honestly don't want to. I don't want to, and there's nothing there that's worth it for me.
Like, it kind of sucks, though, because everybody else in my family is, like, doing great things with their life. And then there's just me. I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> That's it. That's all I got going for me. <laughs> I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> Well, dang. Well, dang, Tim. I guess I'll have to get my lasso and make my way over to your house then. I gotta catch at least something good today. And if, it, if it, it's Tim, I guess it'll have to be Tim. Like, the thing is, is like, as much as I love doing YouTube and stuff like that, I don't think it's ever going to become like a fully sustainable job it's by itself unless I somehow get like super epically famous just out of nowhere and my videos start getting millions of views. I'm probably not going to uh, be able to do YouTube forever at least like full time. Because eventually I'll have to get a job. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Maybe we'll pull a Mr. Beast, who knows. But there was a running joke for a while that I am Mr. Beast. It's a long story, but... There was a running joke for a little while about me being Mr. Beast. Because you know what's funny? Me and Mr. Beast have the same birthday. We were both born on May 7th. Me and Mr. Beast have the same birthday. Which is like... <laughs> it's kind of cool. But like, there was a running joke for a little while that I was M Mr. Beast. Someone called me Mr. Cheese. <laughs> I hate it, but I also find it really funny. <laughs> but there was um a viewer who joined me in a game, and it was one of the viewers who was like, oh my gosh, Vanilla Vanilla in chat. It was in a game that nobody knew who I was, too. And somebody was kind of being a little troll and decided to mess with them and started acting like Mr. Beast was in the game. Being like, oh my gosh, Mr. Beast, I'm a big fan. I don't know what brought them to do that, but it was really funny, kind of. Like, I felt bad for the viewer a little bit, but, like, they didn't, they didn't seem to take it that badly. They just kind of left after a little bit. But, like, um... I don't know. It was kind of funny. Somebody was, like, pretending that I was Mr. Beast for whatever reason. <laughs> like, I know he's a lot... He's older than me. He's older than me, so he had that birthday first. But... Yeah, I'm also Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny, and I'm Mr. Beast, apparently. I, I'm just, I'm, I have everything. I'm just really good at everything, apparently. No, I haven't really caught anything good, sadly. I have not gotten much luck today at all. Um, I probably won't go into public server today unless I get, like, insanely bored, which I don't know if I will. Yeah, no, like, I am pretty sure there's probably at least one person out there that genuinely believes I'm Santa Claus. And I know that sounds really weird, but, like, for some reason, every time it's around Christmas time... Everybody is thoroughly convinced that I am Santa Claus. I am not Santa Claus. He is a different person. I am not Santa. But for some reason, every time it gets close to Christmas, chat immediately becomes thoroughly convinced that I'm going to break into their house at the middle of the night and leave presents under their Christmas tree. I am not Santa Claus. <laughs> 
And then this last Easter, Tem called me the Easter Bunny. So apparently I'm the Easter Bunny now too. Thank you for the sub, I appreciate it. Like, here's the thing. Why do people keep associating me with, like, the holiday people that are all the ones that are associated with breaking into people's houses? I don't break- Okay, for the record, I do not break into people's houses to leave stuff in their house for Christmas or Easter. You know, I'm gonna be completely honest, Miley. I genuinely thought you just asked me if I liked M&Ms or not, like the candy. I think mismatches are pretty cool. But like, some of them are a little overrated. Like, I kind of don't get the hype behind like the golden apple mismatches anymore. You seem like you would. What? What is that implying? That I seem like I would break into people's houses. <laughs> like, what? I don't know <laughs> if I should be offended by that or not. <laughs> Such like an out of pocket comment. <laughs> I don't know if I should be offended or not. <laughs> there would be bunny pics on Easter. Yeah, because I have pet rabbits, not because I'm the Easter bunny. Be both or neither. I uh, neither. I'm I'd rather be neither. It's also like if I was the Easter bunny or Santa, why would I tell you guys? Cuz even if I was and I told you guys, that would ruin the magic. It would ruin the magic of Easter and Christmas. Reverse psychology. <laughs> no, I know how that works. If I start saying that I am Santa Claus or I am the Easter Bunny, it's not going to be reverse psychology. Everybody's just going to be like, yeah, he's finally admitting it. <laughs> I know how you guys are and I know exactly what you guys would do. your favorite mismatch horse Ooh, i think i'm probably gonna say crimson because i bred him myself i love him hold on let me this guy he's a mismatch ken he's a half pure mismatch ken he's ken's grandson and i bred him myself i absolutely love crimson No, I'm not. Oh my gosh. I'm not having this conversation anymore. I'm not the Easter Bunny. I'm not Santa Claus. I am Kai. That is it. I am Kai. Jackson, Blitz, Vanilla, Ken, whatever you want to call me. That's who I am. But I am I'm not Saint Nicholas and I am not the Easter Bunny. Oh wait, I need to sell. I almost forgot. Oh my lord. Okay, bam. Okay, still nothing really that good. We've been at it for like an hour and a half.
No, I'm not the Tooth Fairy either. I wouldn't even want to be the Tooth Fairy. Who would want to take people's teeth? That's weird. Like, I don't want teeth. I'm good. I'm fine. I have my own teeth already. I don't need more. And if I was... Okay, look. If I was the Tooth Fairy or Santa or the Easter Bunny... How did I receive gifts from Santa Claus, the Easter Bunny, and the Tooth Fairy when I was little? Like, how would they have given me stuff if I am them? No, I'm not Jack Frost. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am just Kai. <laughs> Tango. Tango didn't. Not in stream chat. I am not a leprechaun. Actually... I don't know if I can fully deny that one, because I do have Irish heritage. <laughs> I don't know if I can fully deny that one. But all the other ones... No, I'm not. <laughs> all the other ones, no, I'm not. I can't fully deny the leprechaun accusations. I'm not sure on that one. I'm not sure on that one. They pass your jobs down on you. Well, okay. Why would literally every, like... Every single holiday person all give me their jobs. Like, wouldn't they give them to separate people? Where did Sandman come from? I'm. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, like, honestly, I feel like the Pocky Clan lore is just progressively devolving more and more as time goes on because did you guys know that in pocky clan lore all of you guys are all the viewers are my kids all the viewers are my kids i'm related to every single one of the mods and pocky bot is evil But everybody's just pulling out random characters now. <laughs> I am not the Grinch. That's Tem. Tem is the Grinch. I think we can all agree on that one. Tamara is the Grinch, not me. Um, sometimes if you put, like, a dot accidentally between two words without a space it will say it's a link that's just something with the bot misdetecting things yeah i'm pretty sure caden's caden's my grandchild make myself laugh so hard hold on let me see what you sent me how dare you <laughs> damn <laughs> Damn! <laughs> okay, I was not expecting that. Tem's being goofy. I make myself laugh so much. Oh my gosh. Kai is the Lorax. No, that's Emily actually. Emily is the Lorax, Aloha is the Onesler. We've already- we've already- this is already in Pocky Clan lore. Um, I've watched a tiny bit of Black Butler. I actually have a CL Phantom Hive cosplay that I've worn a couple times. I have not watched the full show, but I have watched some of it. I have watched Attack on Titan. Um, I've watched a little bit of, um... 
Oh my god, what is the name of it? The one with the orphanage and the demons. Whatever that one's called, I can't remember. The Promised Neverland, I've watched some of that. Favorite Black Butler character? Uh, it's CL. That's why I have a cosplay of him. Be Pinocchio because you lie about being Easter and Santa. Easter Bunny and Santa? What the heck? And now you're accusing me of lying? <laughs> this this conversation has devolved so much. <laughs> you know, and I'm pretty sure the Pocky Clan family tree is so horribly messed up that I'm my own grandfather. I don't even know how that happened. But I'm pretty sure I'm my own grandfather. So I don't know how that happened. It's all kind of my house on Christmas. <laughs> Stop. I am not breaking into people's houses on Christmas. Do you really think I have the time and resources when streaming almost every day to get presents for every kid in the world? Pocky, yeah, Pocky Clan lore is super cursed. There's so many weird things in Pocky Clan lore. Like, I'm pretty sure... I'm trying to think i'm pretty sure tango is my kid and also my grandkid at the same time and i don't remember how that happened i think i don't know it's to the point that i'm starting to forget there's so much stuff going on with pocky clan lore I know in Pocky Clan lore, Nessa's my sister. I remember that one. Nessa's my sister, Evan's my mom. Nyx is my kid. Which doesn't make any sense because Nyx and Ev like, like Evan's older than me. A little bit, like barely. Nyx is older than me, but they're my kid. You know what I should do next year for April Fools? What I should do next year for April Fools is I should give Tim access to my YouTube account and have Tim stream on my account instead. <laughs> for April Fools and see how long it takes people to realize. <laughs> I know for April Fools, my sister was like, um, she's like, oh, you should let me stream for you on April Fools. Well, yeah, but the next April Fools is like a whole year from now. So you guys would probably forget. Imagine I pull up a PNG of your character drawn by Mel. <laughs> That'd be great. Wait, oh my gosh, you know what we could also do? What if, what if I sent you my VTuber model and you sent me your PNG? <laughs> <laughs> and we could just swap like avatars i could dress up as you on roblox and you could dress up as me me and tim gotta like get have the most elaborate prank possible for april fools <laughs> Like, I wish we would have thought about this before April Fool's passed. Like, 
That would have been great if we did something like that for April Fools. You late? Um, I don't know. Little bit. <clears throat> oh, hey, it's a dapple gray TV. That's crazy, man. Are you a siren? No. I literally don't even know how to swim. How would I be a siren? <laughs> Oh, Tim, that'd actually be such a good prank because you and Mel sound so similar. <laughs> instead, instead. Guys, did you know I have a son now? Hold on. Let me get- I don't- I don't have- I don't know if I- do I have a recent picture? I haven't taken a little picture in a while. I think I just want to mean Tem's DMs, hold on. Hmm, that's an outdated one. There's one in Pocky Clan, hold on. Yeah, it's Simon! Let me get a picture of him. Gotta find him, because people have been using media a bunch recently, so I gotta scroll back kind of far. Here we go, I found a picture of when I put him in the little horsey outfit, because it's really cute. Alright, hold on. You guys ready? Uh, he's in a little horsey outfit. Look at him! I love the little horsey outfit, it's so cute. He got, uh, we got him a bunny hat recently. We love Simon. <laughs> it's a little horsey outfit. I got him another horsey outfit too, but that one's blue. I have to get him a picture with the bunny hat because the hat's like really big on him. It <laughs> looks goofy. <laughs> I've not played Stride Away, but I watched Evan play it, and I'm probably not gonna buy it because it does it doesn't look like it's worth it to me. If someone donates a bunch of like Robux or something, is like, hey, go buy it and play it. I would, but I'm not gonna fork out my own money to play it. I know, but we got him little carrot socks, too. And then I picked up a little romper that's, um... It's a little romper that has, like, carrots and avocados on it. It's really cute. I folded all of his clothes yesterday while on VC. I was showing him off. I'll have to show you at some point, Tim. I got a bunch more stuff since I last showed you. Whenever my next paycheck comes in, I might try and order some new pacifiers. But, like, I only got, like, the one at the moment. <laughs> I am my favorite comedian. <laughs> well, that's great. If you find yourself hilarious, you're absolutely hilarious. I mean, you made me laugh, too, so you're a pretty good comedian, I'd say. Oh, wait, Tim, do you want to see the video that I sent Tango earlier? You'd probably really like it. It's, it's super goofy. <laughs> this was me and Nyx playing a horror game. Oh, why did it just- it linked to me and Tango's DMs. Hold on. <laughs> I'm trying to get it. There we go. I need to revive my- my Discord server. There's so many people in there, but like, nobody talks in there. 
Is there anything you guys would be like want me to do with my Discord server that would make you guys want to hang out and talk in there more? Oh my gosh, Tim, you should totally play it with me and Nyx at some point. It's actually really fun. Like, we didn't get the recording of it because I got scared and ran away. But Nyx got caught in this cage thing and it was making me solve, like, a CAPTCHA. You know, like the thing to verify you're not a robot. It was forcing me to do one of those to save Nyx. And I got Nyx killed because I typed in- I typed I instead of L. I do know I'm probably going to be doing a bunch of Discord giveaways soon, because I need to get stuff out of my inventory. That'll be interesting. I also might see if I can do some giveaways in Tem's server, because I know there's a lot of people active over there, too. That is, if Tem would allow me to. Why does Kaboom's hair look like mac and cheese? Unless I'm really hungry. Yeah, I think you just might be really hungry, because last time I checked, mac and cheese isn't this bright yellow. Maybe you should get some food. If, you, if you're hungry, go, go get some food. No, I have not caught anything good so far. My luck has not been good. I've caught a single event, Appy. That is it. That is the only event or IUH I've caught so far. Okay, I, I, I still- I just want to make sure, you know? I don't want to accidentally break any rules and stuff like that. If you are underage, you are not supposed to be in the Discord at all, because that can get us in trouble. Like, even if you're not talking and things like that, you, you can't be in there at all. We can let you come back when you're 13. But it's just, it's something we have to do. It's like not our choice, really. What I'll do is I'll probably do... Some giveaways on YouTube and also giveaways on the Discord server. So that way everybody has a chance, even if they're not in the Discord. And maybe, just maybe, if I can get my little fingies on something like rare, I might do like... A giveaway like that i just don't know if i'd be able to get my fingies on anything that rare that i would be willing to just give away super easy okay back to horsey hunting But, like, I don't know. I have a ton of event horses and stuff to give away. What I'm probably going to do is I'm going to give away all the events first. And then get into, like, the mismatches, things like that, that I have that I want to get rid of. Tem is probably lurking. If Tem's not actively talking in the chat, they're probably lurking. Because I know Tem does that a lot. Oh. 
Like, hold on. Let me show you this, right? Pretty much all of these, except for probably that one, and the Forever Foles, obviously, all of that's probably going to be given away. I'm probably going to give away some of my Coco Mustangs, too. I actually do need to, uh, this one's going to be the Forever Fool. I know that. Oh, also, Tim, because I know you've been catching stuff. Do you by any chance have a, like, Icelandic of the, like, an Icelandic event that has the pastel pink hair? I need to get a pure one. I've had, like, no luck. No, I would not give away a V1 valve free probably because the only ones I have are important to me and I don't have the resources to trade for another one without giving up horses that I like I have attachments to. But if I did, I would see if maybe I could get my hands on like a low tier IUH or something like that possibly to give away. If I were to get like a really rare horse to give away. Which, like, if I did, I would probably wait until 15k to give it away, because, like, it'd be a nice little thing for, like, a milestone, you know? Like, we're not crazy far off. If you do have one of the ICs with that color, I'm willing to give you an IC in return, or a couple in return, if you would want that, because I just- I need one for a forever full. <laughs> I still have a bunch of videos I gotta record. Ugh. Waffles are just points. They're kind of useless right now. Um, I am trying to look into ways to try and make them useful. Did this bro already respawn? Or did I just forget to catch him? I don't know, but I'm gonna catch him. Come here. Snatch. Hello! Like, I will say, my community has definitely died down a lot. Since, like, my peak. But... Here, hold on. I'm trying to respond to a DM. Give me a second. I don't remember what I was talking about either. Okay. I can get out Ken for a second. We'll run. We'll do like one lunar run with Ken. Might as well. He can get some fresh air. His birthday's coming up. So. His birthday is on the 18th. So like one of the last days of the event. So, Waffles, you just earn passively while you're in the chat. I'm not sure if you need to be talking in chat or just watching, but it's just something you passively earn for free. You don't have to do anything besides just be in the chat. Which, like, I do need to see if I can uh, find some oranges in Marketplace for him. I have some oranges, but I don't think it's going to be enough to last me like a whole stream. So I'm going to feed Ken a bunch of oranges for his birthday. Ooh, 
Moonstone. I'll take that. You hold on. I keep checking my Discord messages because I had a couple people messaging me. So I'm trying to make sure I respond. We're going to have to do a restock on Lasso somewhat soon, I think. Feed can 20,000 oranges. <laughs> I don't, I have 92. I don't think that's enough. I need to get him some more. So I'm probably going to do some market hopping and stuff later. Ken deserves all of them. He's got 31,000 bond right now. I need to get that higher for his birthday. I'm gonna aim for at least like 50k bond for his birthday probably. If I run out of oranges, I'll probably feed him golden apples. <laughs> You know what I could do? That might be a really dumb idea. What if I did I checked out markets in the trading hub on stream? I'm scared of the trading hub. I would very much appreciate if someone held my hand while I was in the trading hub because it's very scary and I do not like it in there. Because I don't know. People, like, the IUH collectors and stuff like that kind of scare me a little bit. Some of them, at least. People people who trade a lot just scare me in general a lot of the time. Because there is quite a few people in the, like, people who trade and stuff like that who, like, beg or scam and things like that. So I'm just... I avoid it most of the time. I will say I have been in the trading hub two times since it has come out. One, to look at it the first time. The second time, to check a tr check one of my past trades. That was it. I've never been in there besides that. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I very much appreciate it. But I'm probably gonna finish catching here on Lunar, and then I'm gonna recheck spawns, and then take a break from horse catching, because I don't want to burn myself out too bad. But I think we got, we got, like, a decent chunk of money, and we caught a wild, pure Abby, at least. So it's not anything crazy good, but it's something. So I will take that, you know? Like, I'm okay with that. It's something. It's better than no event horses at all. Yeah, you can check, I think it's your 20 most recent trades. It's in a little book up top. I'll show you when I go over there. Okay. No more horsey catching. Alright, let's go check Blizzard. Blizzard Forest Desert Lunar. I always gotta double check the hairs on here because, like, I've seen the IUHs that can spawn here and a lot of them blend in really well. <laughs> I do not have a P.O. box because they're really expensive where I live. Like, if I want one that can fit actual packages, I'm looking at, like, $90 a month. So, un unless I start earning, like, a bunch of money off of YouTube, I probably won't have a P.O. Box anytime soon. Yeah! It's insane! I was like, oh my gosh! It's also like, I would probably want to go out of my way to get one in, like, a different town than the town I actually live in. Because I don't want people really to know what town I live in. 
which to be fair i there i know there's already multiple um there's multiple people that are viewers that know where i live but <laughs> there is actually a viewer who's friends with my little sister and they've met in person What is my username? Uh, it is Kai X Pocky. I'll show you on the thing. That's my username. I can't type it out in chat right now. But it's C H I X P O C K Y. So small, the halter barely fits. And the halters don't fit the little folds. It's so goofy. Like, I don't know. I'm, I might do some, some snooping around because I think my grandma has a P.O. box. I'm not sure, though. Big horse breeds to add to the game. Two horse breeds. Ooh, let me think about this one. Knobstrupper, however you say that, and Irish Cobb. Because I really want, I really want to get my other horse OC in game. So I have two of the three. I just need the third one, which is their knob stripper, so. Yeah, no, so many people think it's pronounced chi, and honestly, I don't I don't care. If you pronounce it that way, it's whatever, it's not the end of the world. But if you call me chi to my face, I probably will cry. <laughs> like if you tell if you call me chi in a voice chat, I probably will cry. <laughs> But, like, I don't care really that much. It's not the end of the world if you pronounce it chi or chai. Some people pronounce it chai, too. Like, where did... I don't know where the A came from, but... You know, as long as I know it's me, that's what matters. I have so many names that I go by that I'll respond to. Like, I have a bunch of other names that people can call me, too, that I'm okay with. But it's like, pretty much everybody only uses Kai, so I'm just mostly used to Kai. Like, you guys, you guys can call me, let me see, I have a list, I'll, I'll read out the list. Kai, Malachi, but that one, I don't know, gives me like a, I feel like anytime somebody calls me Malachi that I'm in trouble or something. Jackson, Jax, uh, Blitz. You could call me Ken, too, I guess. My mom has started calling me that. Because, um, funny story, my dead name has Ken in it. Like, it has K-E-N in my dead name. And I didn't realize until recently. I'm not ending stream. I'm just finishing up horse catching at the very least. I'm probably going to do some market hunting for Ken's birthday gifts. And also just maybe see if I can find anything else that's kind of cool. But I might turn my joins off. Which is like, I want to hang out with you guys. I really do. But if I'm market hunting, I might turn my joins off just while I'm market hunting. And then once I'm done market hunting and I'm just chilling in a public server or whatever, I'll turn them back on. Mostly because um, I just don't really want to have a bunch of people joining me and then buying things that I'm trying to buy or stuff like that. Because I know there, not everybody, but there is some people who do stuff like that. And, and, you know, it's not going to completely prevent it, but it should help reduce that a little bit. So I'm just mostly looking for one specific thing, but you never know what I might come across, so. Yeah. Which is like, you know, if it happens, it happens, but I can at least, like, turn my joins off for just a little bit to maybe kind of reduce the possibility a little. So <laughs> smiped.
Um, once I'm done checking these horse spawns, I'm going to be doing some market hunting to see if I can find new oranges for sale. And then I'm going to probably just spend the rest of the stream in a public server organizing my inventory and trying to plan what I'm going to get rid of and stuff like that. Where'd the name Blitz come from? Uh, it's the name of one of my OCs. I just thought the name was cool. So, that's his name. And he is my, like, persona avatar over on Twitch. Which is not family friendly, by the way. In case anybody goes hunting for my Twitch channel. My Twitch channel is not family friendly. I say bad words over there. I do not say bad words here, but I say bad words over there. So, like, just be warned of that if you're gonna go look for my Twitch channel. You like pickles? Yes. Pickles are good. But like, I don't know. Maybe, just maybe I'll run into some viewers in the trading hub. Like, and I think, uh... I think it'd be pretty funny if I ran into some viewers in the trading hub that are watching stream. Like, by pure accident. Legacy coat, Palomino Dapple... With dark red tack. What was the hair color? Because that sounds familiar. Normally I wouldn't remember something like that. But that sounds familiar. I think I do actually remember you. I think I do actually remember you. Because that sounds incredibly familiar. Like... I'm just gonna tell you now, any- pretty much every family-friendly YouTuber probably says bad words off-camera. It's just, like, I'm an adult, you know, where I live, it's very normal to swear and things like that. Like, my parents say swear words all the time in front of me and stuff like that. It's just normal for me. But I have willingly chose not to say any swear words while I'm streaming. I keep this channel strictly family friendly. And like if there's any time there is anything that might possibly not be family friendly. I always put up as many warnings as I can to try to tell people that hey there's this thing that people might be uncomfortable with or this or that to let people know like i'm not gonna just randomly one day start swearing or anything i'm unless it is a complete accident i will never swear on stream like there is a few words that i say that some people say are swear words but where i live and in my family they're not but they're not like super controversial ones they're ones that i think it's mostly like they're real bad in a religious kind of setting i think i think that's I don't know if I'm for sure on that. I'm not religious. I, I do not practice any religion. So I'm, I'm not up to talking about that kind of stuff. Because I do not have any experience. You tried Red Bull or Monster? I've tried Monsters before. I'm not a big fan of them. I've never had Red Bull before. I'm just going to say now. If, if anybody asks me about drinks. There's a very high possibility I've never had it. Or I don't like it because I like only drink water and juice and maybe sometimes energy drinks but that's it that's like all I ever drink which when I'm in a server with my joins on I will let you guys know when you guys will be able to join me so just have your volume on if you're watching stream or you're lurking and you want to wait until I join a public server. When I join a public server and you guys can join me, I will let you know before I even join. I, I don't think Tim will. That's up to Tim though. Because I'm guessing she's probably horse hunting or she's working on something else. I've just accepted that people always call me random things or spell my name wrong. Someone called me Vanali Vanilla yesterday, so I'm just... I've been called basically everything except for Vanilla Vanilla. 
<laughs> before. I've been called chicken, cheesecake. There's there's so many things people have called me. I've been called chin before. Yes, chin. I have been called chin before. It was definitely an accident, but it was still really funny. How old is Ken? He is about to be two years old in seven days, in exactly a week. He's going to be two years old. Oh my gosh, guys, look! Oh, it's another pure, too! Let's go. Look, I don't care what you guys call me as long as it's not mean and I know you're talking to me. As long as I know you're talking to me, I don't care. I'm sorry, I'm just hungry. <laughs> no, it's okay, I get it. I get it. Where'd you get apple slice from? Where, like... <laughs> where'd you get apple slice from? Okay, that is all of the horse spawns. There was no other good horses. We gonna jump over here. So what I'm gonna do is I gotta do some market hunting. So while I am market hunting, my joins are going to be off. You will not be able to join me. I will turn my joins back on after I'm done market hunting. Are you vegan? No. I just, I eat whatever. I don't have any like dietary restrictions besides plums. I can't eat plums, but everything else is fine. Yes, I know what how to train your dragon is. Hey, look, it's okay. Kens can be male or female. They can be male or female. They don't have to be strictly male. I have female Kens too. Ken's daughter is a female Ken. There's Karen, Kendall, Barbie. I have a lot of I have a lot of female Kens. Okay, bam. I'm going to the trading hub right now. Who's your favorite horse? Probably Ken. I do have a female Ken named Barbie. Yeah, she's on my alt account right now. All right. I'm gonna go back over here. Trading hub time. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of people here. Where's Ken? Oh, he's in the water. Oh my gosh, there's so many. There's a lot of skellies here. I'm just gonna go look at private islands. Wait a minute. The horsey I'm friends with. 
Hold on. <laughs> I think that's the horsey I'm friends with. It is. <laughs> well, I didn't know horsey was in here. Let's see, does horsey have any oranges for sale? Okay, they don't have anything for sale right now. Uh, let's see. Ooh, market open. Let's see what they got here. I'm looking for oranges to purchase because Ken's birthday is coming up and I want to get as many as I can. I she has some decent prices. Oh, crud, I missed. I'm just looking at all the ones that, like, seem like they might be selling stuff, you know? You never know. Whoa! This Okay. Some giant butterflies. This is kind of neat. Oh, there's no things. Oh, the bunny jumps are cute, though. I don't know if I'll find anything good today, but you know, you never know. What does this person have for sale? Looks like just a bunch of hair dyes, mostly. Okay, next. I think a lot of people are just selling random stuff, but honestly, I get it. The heck? What color are these? Topaz and fabric yellow. They look like they've been deep fried. <laughs> They look like they've been deep fried. <laughs> deep fried earmuffs. Favorite singer? Mm, I'm gonna say Imagine Dragons. I really like Imagine Dragons. Got some sleighs. Oh, that's cute. Very cute. Wait, these are antenna. What color are these? Oh, those are iron. I think I might need... Hold on. Actually, maybe I don't. I thought I needed iron ones. Okay, maybe not. I think I got a different iron head accessory for them. <sighs> Alrighty, let's see. You know what I could also do? Is anyone... Selling oranges. I could probably ask. There's a person selling a single peach. That's a cute life ring. Did you mod horse islands? Um, either horse catch or breed, I would say. Oh, you want Clyde Steel? Someone's horse is like stuck. They've been on every island, stuck to the boat. Uh, I don't- I think I'm at horse girls right now.
Nothing I'm looking for. I thought I needed an iron antenna, but I don't. Maybe I do, and I just don't remember what horse it was for, but... Oh, okay, well that person left. <laughs> that timing was wonderful. Nothing here. Like, I don't... A lot of the time, look at markets. But oh, this island's cute. Got a shiny umbrella, scarecrow hat. Oh wait, hold on. Are you wild caught? No. Alright, I was gonna say, if that's wild caught, I'm gonna try to buy that. Wrong button. I don't think there's any other, um... Couple people join. We could check those. Nothing I really need, but this shop is set up cute. And I think this person just joined too, so we could check this one as well. Okay. A lot of people have like market open, but then they don't actually have anything for sale. Okay, I think we find a new server. I'm just gonna sell sail to a random place. I'm gonna just go to the breeding hub. And then we'll go back to the trading hub and hopefully it'll bring me in a different server. Because that time it brought me in there because one of my friends was in there. Okay, we're gonna run back over here, or get stuck, and then we're gonna go back to the trading hub, and hopefully it'll bring me to a different server. I am not good with name ideas. I'm sure maybe chat could help, though. Okay, this is a different server. And come here. Now leave my chat open just in case. Woo lag. There's nothing here. Oh my gosh. Wait, no, is this my island? Okay, it took me to my island. What the? The private island thing is so broken sometimes. There we go. I was like, this island kind of looks like my island. It's kind of weird.
Okay, let's see. That's a very bright fountain. I if I'm like yawning a lot. I'm starting to get a little sleepy. All right. Pint of butter. <laughs> I got- I must resist. I have- so I have plenty already. It is fine. This is fine. Just gonna walk away? I've not gotten any- I've not seen a single orange for sale this entire time. Ooh, this place has giant butterflies. A bunny! This, I'm guessing this isn't a forever full, but I'll still look. Just in case. No, it's not. Darn. What color are these? Hopper? I don't need that. Alright, let's see. Maybe. Not for trade, but it's for sale apparently. That is not worth two hundred fifty thousand. <gasps> Heart glasses. They're not kind. Of, they're not very cute. If they were, if they had black rims, I would buy them. Person's auctioning stuff. Maybe they have oranges. The TB was kind of expensive, if I'm correct. It was like 125k or something. Oh my gosh, why is that so massive? They don't have any accessories that I'm looking for or anything. Market may be open. Well, let's see if it's open. It is- oh, there's one thing. It looks like a Valentine's tail bow. Fan art can be sent through email or on the Discord server or tag me on whatever social media. <sighs> Ooh, wrong button. Okay, I'll check this last one. If there's nothing good, I'm probably just gonna, like, give up. Oh, 
Okay, well, there's nothing that great in here. Here, I'll turn my joints back on. I- I wanna text- I wanna test something. If you guys will be able to join me while I'm in the trading hub, and if it will actually take you to the breeding hub or not. Not the breed- the trading hub. I'm- I'm all over the place. Bear with me. Because I think it's kind of worked in the past, but I want to make sure. I know it works with the breeding hub. I don't know if it works with the trading hub, though. Yeah, my joins are back on. You guys should be able to join now. I don't know how full the server is, though. I'm guessing it's, like, decently full. Yippee! Oh, is that for Robux? Yeah. So just does everybody go to the trading hub and then just like stand here? That's what it kind of seems like. Oh, uh, Contango, can you get my username in chat for me? Person just walked up to me and is this a viewer? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you, Tango and Caden. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess I'll just hang out and see if there's, like, anything. I'm guessing viewers can join. Um, I don't know. I think the command stopped working. I can look. Give me a second. I'll check. No, it's gone. I don't know what happened to it. Okay. Oh, I need to add more commands in soon. Hey. Oh, wait. Is the this person a viewer? Because if so, I saw you in my game. Like, a little bit ago. On, like, a different trading server. If you guys have oranges for sale, I'm willing to try and purchase them. As long as the fan art is stream appropriate, it will probably go in the fan art slideshow, but we will see. Uh, I'll check it out after stream. I'm saying it in game too because I think some people aren't in chat anymore. Ooh, space OCs. I love space stuff, it's super cool. Okay, hold on. We're gonna do some market looking for viewers, too. I have no idea if they're still here or not. Orange! Gotta be- I gotta make sure Ken doesn't eat them before I buy them. Gotta wait for the bids to open up. Bye! Thank you! I'm sure Ken is gonna absolutely love those. Okay, we'll go back to the main area. Which also, if you guys want to see the Forever Foles, you guys are welcome to go to my island too. If you guys want to see them. Oh, 
Oh, this person just literally doesn't have a horse. <laughs> Where'd your horse go? <laughs> Where is your horse? It's just gone. <laughs> Invisible horse. <laughs> The real ghost horse, yeah. Is it there on everybody else's screen, or is it just like my side? Does this person have oranges for sale? Hold on, what's your username? I'll go check out their island, because they're jumping at me with oranges. I feel like they're trying to tell me something. Oh, okay, they're gonna put some up for sale, I think. I'm probably gonna spend a lot of money today on oranges, but it's okay. I'm gonna auto buy them. Thank you! I appreciate it! Oh, I missed. Gosh darn it. If you guys have oranges for sale, just like tell me. I will go buy them as long as it's not like outrageous. Oranges. Oranges. Add bid. I'll just drop like. Here, I'll drop like. I was gonna do 2k, but I misclicked, so okay, I guess it's 1k. I replaced the 1 with a 1. <laughs> oh my gosh! A Ken! I wanna see the stats on this guy. Oh, you're cute! What's a cot one, too? <gasps> I'm- I know that might be weird that I just bought that, but I swear there's- I'm buying this too. Why do you have so much cute stuff? What color is this? Fabric dark blue. Mm, I need to- I need to hold off on accessories. There's a reason I bought that Ken though. That was caught on Nyx's birthday! I'm saving that. Where are they? Birthday Ken. I will probably give that to Nyx. No, your horse is back. Your horse is back now. I know, Ken's birthday is in, a, like, a week. He can wait before he eats the oranges. He'll survive. The cow print perch is very pretty. Nyx would be very jealous. You're Kenless? Oh, no. That's terrible. I'm so sorry. I get any of the event appy and I want to collect them. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry. I'm assuming that after the event, they're probably not going to have a, like a ton of value. So you might be able to get a decent chunk of them, especially after the event ends too. Um, I'm not taking gifts at the moment, but my birthday is coming up within like less than a month. 
Which I will be accepting gifts around my birthday. Oh my gosh! That's a very cute kin. Ooh, it's got OG's two OG stats. Ew. I gotta pick his hooves real quick. Will you allow gifts for Ken's birthday? Probably not unless it's oranges. Because it's not... I shouldn't be accepting gifts for Ken's birthday unless it's for Ken, you know? But, let's see. How long until my birthday? Because I know it's not that far away. We got one, two, three. Little over three weeks. So a little under a month until my birthday. Yes, I will be turning 19. Tango... You are older than me. Oh my gosh! That fjord is so cute! I am Kenless. I thought this just become a term now. I appreciate it, but it is all good. Ken has always had his white saddle pad, and I'm probably gonna keep it that way. Like, eventually, I really want to do, like, a big Ken giveaway again someday. Because there was a stream a long time ago, which I don't know if anybody here is OG enough to remember. But do you guys remember the 100 Ken giveaway stream? Where we literally gave away 100 Kens? Yeah, we- it took a while to stock up on Ken's, but... <laughs> if someone's hosting an auction, I think it's one of the viewers. We can go out- we should go over and check it out. See if there's anything good. Oh yeah! I never got through those 10,000 carrots. <gasps> Is that a baby? So cute. I'm guessing it's not a forever fall, but you never know. It is not. If it was a forever fall, I would have snatched that so fast. Apples. E. The thing I really need, I don't think. But if anybody needs any of this stuff, definitely come over here. Let me go back to the main area. Mostly just like hanging out, see if there's any thing that I want to try to trade for or anything like that. I'm being jumped on. Well, I'm pretty sure literally none of the Kens we gave away were directly related to Ken. So, I don't think Ken was that upset. <sighs> Favorite IUH you have? Ooh, that's a tough one. Probably salad. I like salad a lot. Here, I'll get salad out. This is salad. Are you vanilla vanilla? Maybe. <laughs> Anytime anybody asks me if I'm real or if it's me, I just go, maybe. 
I don't know. Sa I've gotten very attached to salad. I don't know why. Someone else's Ken is trying to bite me. Quit it! <laughs> you could have any IUH, what would it be? An IUH Ken. Preferably Topaz, but any works. I've spotted a horsey. I'm gonna stare at horsey. There is an IUH Ken that exists, but it's probably insanely expensive, and I would probably never be able to get my hands on it. It's neon blue. Uh, I'm good. I'm gonna be making my own forever full icy at some point. I just don't know when. Yeah, I posted a picture on my community tab once I was told that it existed. It's actually really cute. But I would literally never be able to get my hands on it. I'm pretty sure it's not for traded currently anyways. Oh, there's something in my eye. Hold on. Probably an eyelash. Okay, we good. Oranges. I think this is the right person. I'm not sure, though. My game is not loading. <laughs> there is no marketplace on my screen right now. I, there's no marketplace for me. Hold on. I think I need to... Hold on. Let me come back to the... <laughs> it's just gone. Hold on. It won't load for me. No more shopping. No more shopping. Okay, it's sort of here now. I don't think I can walk on it still. Oh, I kind of can. The interaction prompts are not there, though. What is happening? Is, is, it, those, is it this one over here? I can't interact with it. Hold on. We're gonna go back again. What is happening? I'm so confused. I'm lagging. Hold on, what if I turn off? I am struggling. Come on, load marketplace, load! <laughs> it won't load. Come on. <laughs> Um, if I go to somebody else's... But, okay, I'm gonna go back to mine. Okay, my marketplace is here. Now we're gonna go back. 
Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. It finally loaded in. Holy crap. Okay. Here we go. Orange is acquired. Thank you. I don't know why your island just refused to load. But it finally loaded after forever. Now I'm going back to- my computer is getting louder. <laughs> okay, can I turn my high quality back on? No, okay, I'm just not allowed to turn it back on. Iced water, oh my gosh, they're very cute. This trading server, like, completely died. It's, like, just viewers now. Oh, are there any of my friends in here? No. Okay, we're gonna try doing a new server because I'm lagging, like, really, really bad. I'm gonna just... I'm gonna teleport to, like, mainland, and then I'm gonna join a new trading server. You guys will probably have to rejoin through my profile if you want to get back in with me. Because I don't think you'll be able to follow me between servers. I'm just gonna go straight back. Trading hub. Bunicula, the vampire bunny. I have not. Just looking at the babies and that. And <laughs> now I'm gonna steal them all. No, not the babies. It just put me it put me back in the same server. Are you kidding me? <laughs> put me right back in the same server. No! <laughs> Here, hold on. We're going back. <laughs> okay. And then I'm gonna go trading hub. And hopefully there won't it won't take me back to the same server. Okay, I think I'm in a different server this time. Yes, I'm most definitely. Oh, that blue pearl DB is adorable. Let me get Ken back out. I'm gonna put my high quality back on. I like high quality better. Doesn't look like there's anything good for sale in the market stalls, though, sadly. I'm gonna stay over to the side so we don't interrupt the people trading. Hello, guys. You cannot take salad. Salad is mine. I'm just like keeping an eye on chat right now to see if. You got oranges for sale? I'll go check that out then. Just gotta find you in the list. Uh, okay, my game is... My game is not gaming right now. Uh oh, my game is not gaming. Are we kid? Are okay? Well, it's happening again. Hmm. 
My game is not gaming. Okay, it's partly there. I'm just gonna go to this person's and then I'll come back. Okay, or not. Hold on. It's gonna keep going back and forth until it eventually loads. I'm like struggling. Okay, you know what? It's fine. I'll just wait here for a minute. Get some water. I don't know what's happening. I think maybe just the trading hub, the islands don't load very well. Because it seems like that might be the issue. Either that or Roblox is pooping itself. But that could also be a possibility. I'm just going to go back to the main area because I don't think my, the island's going to load. I'm just going to have to like wait on the oranges, I guess. I'm going to hide over here. Oh, that person just walked over to me and got snatched. <laughs> yeah, the islands seem kind of buggy. Like, Trading Hub seems like it's lagging a lot right now. Somebody else is also riding an invisible horse. Well, it's a title now. You guys are free to take pictures if you want to. I'm just gonna stand here. Unless I see, like, something I want to trade for or things like that. Just please be mindful of other people and try not to stand in front of others. Yeah, the event IUH is very pretty. Yeah, I don't think wet piece of paper is the smartest, to be honest. It's okay. I I don't really want to accept free stuff at the moment. I'll just- I'll buy them a different time, or if you really want to, you can give them to Ken for his birthday. An army also i'm interested I'm, I'm i'm curious would you guys be interested if we made ken merch for ken's birthday like some actual good ken merch and not like just a png of ken like last time because <laughs> if so i could see if i can organize getting some ken merch made both in roblox and real life I can't make a Ken plush, sadly, because it's, like, super expensive to make those. And I'm not sure how I would do that efficiently. I don't accept friend requests. I'm sorry.
Yeah, Chem Plus would need a lot of money. But I can see if I can get some merch made. Ken keychains! Oh my gosh. Oh, hold on, wait, let me... Why is it- why does this need my Discord account? Hold on. Okay, there we go. A lot of the old, like, real-life merch was discontinued. Oh, you know what I never released? I never released the Animo stuff, I don't think. Well, poop, I'll do that, I guess, too. Yeah, I'm slowly being surrounded. <laughs> yeah, I was in Temp stream earlier. I'm gonna zoom out slightly so you can see everybody. Oh, I thought I put out the Animo sticker. I'm gonna do that real quick. Hold on. I'm updating the real life merch store stuff real quick because of some of the stuff I needed to update and I just never did. I actually do have a Ken t-shirt in real life. I love it. I haven't worn it in a while, but I do love it. Okay. Oh wait, is that Sunday? Mm -hmm. I I don't care if people want to say like, oh, you're my idol and things like that. That's okay. It doesn't weird me out or anything like that. If people genuinely feel that way, I feel- I feel very happy. I'm glad they feel that way. Like, I'm not gonna ever get mad at somebody for calling me their idol or things like that. 
Like, I feel honored if I'm people's, like, idol, you know? Like, that's a very exciting thing to hear. I'm getting tired. Penny on Uvalet. He's cool. Uh, it's very hard with his playstyle because I'm not used to it. But he's cool. Yeah, I'm getting EP. I think it's just like, I don't think it's that I'm actually tired. I think I've just been sitting down too long. I think that's what the problem is. See you around, Nico. I very much appreciate it, Noel. I'm assuming you're in stream, but my islands, like my private islands, are just not loading at all for some reason. I don't know what's causing that. But I am probably going to end the stream soon because we are like literally hitting three hours right now. And normally I don't stream more than two hours. So this is like a longer stream for me today. I want to slowly get used to doing longer streams. So I'm going to try to stream like longer more days. Um, you know. But I also got a lot of inventory clearing out to do. Which is going to be like... I got a lot of inventory cleaning out to do. And I'm very scared because I have like, when I don't have a bunch of horses that I've randomly caught in my inventory, I have like 300 something horses. I think it's like 380. And I got to sort through all of those. I already have a ton of auction horses on my alt account, not even like including the ones on this account that I also got to go through. So it's going to be a big mess, but the sooner I do it, the better. Okay, Lou. I think I'm gonna end stream because I'm getting tired, and as I get more tired, I'm gonna get less social and start talking less. But I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you guys for hanging out with me and helping me get oranges. I really appreciate it. But I hope you guys have a good day or night. I will see you all later. Bye, guys. <laughs>